All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the <coughs> McLaren 765LT. Welcome to Emric. Hi. <laughs> who doesn't speak any English. Okay, lift up, just a button there. And it does it automatically because we've got a full carbon front split. I'll do a little walk around of the car at some point. Um, but yeah, these are some big, okay, there we go. We're in the McLaren 765LT Spider. Only 765 of these in the world. This is number 000, I believe just because it is the McLaren press car. It's been in all sorts of press things, so you've maybe seen this car already in a beautiful red color. Full Alcantara interior and every single carbon fiber option has been ticked. So this car, you're nearing on half a million euros, completely specced. And we're gonna go for a little POV cruise in it today. Um, and the aim of today is literally just to go up into the hills, go up into the mountains and, uh, and get lost uh, in the car. So let's, I have no idea where we're going, what exactly we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna improvise. And as you can tell, currently cruising around town. Now, I've just hopped into the car and it's actually not that intimidating. Uh, when you get into it, it's, it's wide, it looks pretty crazy, you can't see too much in the rear view mirror once you've got the aero uh, button selected, which lifts the rear wing up. It's a little dog which is freaking out in the Jeep in front of us. Um, but it's pretty 720S like to get into. Now, one of the main differences is when you start it, um, if you don't press the active panel, it's straight into sport mode. So, oh, hello, there she is. Um, so you're um, instantly kind of in a really sporty kind of setup for the um, suspension, etc. If you want to go into comfort, you press the active button here. Um, that switches the active panel on and you put powertrain and handling into comfort modes. I quite like it in, in sport. Oh, and of course that also then brings up the, um, the other version of the dash. So you press a button here and the dash will go back down and it gives you this kind of less obstructed view of what's going on in front of you. I quite like this little view here. You got your buttons to lock and unlock the car and then for the boot right there on the left. I'm a, a manual as well, so that's done here. You click right here. ESC off is controlled there as well, but we're not gonna be playing with that today. And the rest is, the interior is basically the same as in a 720S, very, very similar. Because uh, you could option a 720S with a full Alcantara interior. So the interior is not where there's that much that's changed and there wasn't much that needed to be changed. I mean, there's kind of no excess weight really in this interior. Um, you know, if you want to be able to have a certain amount of creature comfort or anything of the sort. Um, the exterior is where it really changes, but we'll see that later on. Let's first of all have a little fun in manual. One particularity is you can change gear with each paddle individually. So see, I can go up on this paddle and then if I push it, I can also go down on that paddle. So that's kind of fun. Um, oh, it, you feel like it just wants you to push it. So the lift's gone back down now. We're gonna have to put that back up and we're in more traffic. I swear the traffic these days, horrific. You know what, let's do the exterior tour now and then we'll do the kind of slightly more hardcore driving POV later on in the video. So exterior tour. Here it is. I'm just gonna switch it off because it is boiling here. This is the beast. 765LT. So first of all, this one is completely, completely specked out. So, oh. Nice. We have carbon everywhere. Carbon in the front lights, which are also air intakes right there. Carbon on the front splitter, which I, I'm not gonna lie, terrified me when I first saw that, because if you forget to put the lift up, you're in trouble. Carbon here, carbon on these little outlets to get the turbulent air out of the uh, wheel arches. Oh, hello. Um, these were an option on the 600 LT, but now are standard on this. What else? I mean, literally it's just, carbon everywhere wing mirrors even here on this air vent that comes through the door i mean look at the sculpture on that door on uh the the sills here this is forged carbon fiber uh, on the wheel arch and yeah they've widened it made it longer lt stands for long tail so it's a little bit longer obviously more power more torque we're on trofeo r tires so uh, yeah they're semi-slicks i don't know if you can and they are boiling now 
These little 918 kind of inspired uh, winglets, which also again get some of the turbulent air out of the wheel arch, and a huge diffuser without a license plate, as you'll be able to tell, because the exhausts uh, are right there. It just heats up a bit too much. You got the little hidden camera, and the gear. What I love is that you can literally just see through to the gearbox and all of the mechanics here, obviously mid-engined. And then the roof actually hides down here. But when the roof is up, you can open it and use it as a separate um, storage area, which is kind of cool. New rim design, uh, still obviously carbon ceramic brake standard. Yes, you like it? <laughs> good, good. Guys, we got a tunnel. Are you ready? We got a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> The noise, the acceleration. All right, we're on a country road. 765 LT, doesn't get much better than this. We're on Trofeo Rs. So when cold, they don't really have any grip. It's like driving on an ice ring. But when warm, not much. I'll get these tires unstuck, but you don't want to try your luck with it. Now, the way this car will push you down a road is unbelievable. The acceleration is one thing, but the grip and the way it communicates that to you and the way the brakes communicate to you and how strong they are, and we're behind the car again. That's the problem, you'll catch everyone up so quickly. Yeah, it's so communicative and just so enjoyable. You can tell this was like developed by people who love driving on this sort of road on track i can't even imagine because you can't even explore a quarter of what this car could do here you every time i brake hard i can see the uh the wing going up <laughs> you know the look let me see if there's no one behind me i'll try and do it i don't know if you'll be able to tell but look i don't know if you saw it in the mirror but yeah the wing goes whoop, up the air brake you you can feel that it's turbo oh that noise. You feel that it's turbocharged this car because you get the initial acceleration and then all of a sudden it just kind of like sucks you towards the horizon and it's relentless power. So like when you're accelerating, usually in a car you'll accelerate, change gear and that kind of gives you a break, a little bit of a breather. You're like, oh, okay, phew, I can breathe in and now the acceleration starts again. Whereas with this, the dual clutch gearbox is so good, so quick that the acceleration is relentless. There's no pause in it. You'll just bang through the gears and on a road like this, there's no way you'll get anywhere near where it starts to kind of lift off the power a bit. So it's intense to say the least. Now on these little roads, you do suddenly feel the width of the car, but it's got a pretty good turning radius to be honest with you. Now you don't want to mess around too much with the throttle coming out of a hairpin. Because rear wheel drive, over 750 horsepower. Oh, you can already feel the back end kind of trying to maybe come have a little bit of a play. Oh, oh. my God, what a machine this is. I feel like they've added a dose of emotion into a 720S and a massive dose of performance. Look at this tunnel. Tunnel. You ready?
is unbelievable. This is hypercar warp speed, no question about it. Got lots of ours as well. The amount of grip you're getting, the amount of communication you're getting through the brake pedal and the steering. I might be repeating myself, but I have such a good smile on my face. Oh my god, it's outrageous. It's so cool. He's just he's saying in French that this is insane. I am, I was going to say slowly, but not slowly at all, falling in love with this car. It's unbelievable, and you can just crunch miles in this thing. Now, no idea what it would be like on the motorway. Ah, <laughs> oh, but with the roof off, the air brake going up behind you, the noise, the added drama from the 720, what a package. It's not surprising these things are trading for over this price. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's uh, a video if you like these kind of POV things of me doing 500 kilometers in my Porsche Turbo S and actually having a little bit of an issue. It's going to be in one of the corners here. And if you want to just keep an eye out for future videos, um, it'd be lovely if you subscribe to this channel. We can go on more adventures like this in the future. I need to hop back into this, try and find that rear license plate, and bring the car back to McLaren Monaco. Huge thank you to McLaren Monaco, of course, for lending me the car. An absolute dream today.